What's up, guys? This is James Allen. Today is Tuesday, March 19th, 2024. Now, yesterday I uh, sold all my Cardano's, all my ADA, and uh, swapped them for ICP. I basically uh, transferred all of my uh, Cardano from my Ledger wallet to Coinbase, sold it, and then bought uh, ICP with that money. I'm going to post a receipt here somewhere for you guys to see. And yeah, I'm all out of Cardano and now I'm all in on ICP. So my ICP wallet is now 6666. Uh, when I sent the new amount to uh, my uh, wallet, it wasn't 6666. It was, I think, 6658 or something like that. But I went and bought eight more ICP to make it all sixes. I actually did the exact math to see what the ICP I needed for everything to be six. And I did that because of Jerry, actually, because he had three, 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 three. <laughs> so I'm like, why not respond with six, 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 six? So back at you, Jerry, with six, 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 six in response to your three, 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 three. I mean, after all, this is community. We could shoot the shit at each other. So shout out to you, Jerry. Anyway, why did I do that? Why did I sell my Cardano? Well, I did it, one, because a viewer called me out on it. A viewer said, if you believe in ICP so much, how come you're not all in? There's no halfway crooks over here, right? So we don't like halfway crooks. <laughs> so um, uh, I sold all my Cardano's. No halfway crooks over here in this community. But there's actually a bigger reason why I did that. There's a bigger reason why I sold all my Cardano and uh, went all in on internet computer. And that is uh, when I grew up, uh, I grew up in Haiti, and uh, one of the movies I saw in Haiti was a movie called Demolition Man. And in Demolition Man, there's uh, this uh, elite named, uh, I think, Bob. <laughs> Dr. Proctor is his name. Dr. Proctor. And Dr. Proctor basically has this well-organized, uh, super technical society. And the humans in that society are very sanitized. They don't curse. If you curse, you get fined. Uh, they don't um, eat with their hands. They don't do anything that's like rugged, you know. Uh, they don't even have sex, right? There's a scene in a movie where uh, in order for uh, Stallone to have sex with Bullock, they put on a device. It's a disaster, guys. Uh, you should watch that movie. It's very telling. And when I saw that movie in Haiti, it was really touching. It touched me for some reason. And since I've been in this country, I came here in 2000. I realized that there's a there's a there's a similar trend happening here. I realized that America and the world in general is being taken over by a technical elite. And this technical elite is more or less brainwashing by society. And maybe I shouldn't call it technical elite, maybe I should call it intellectual elite because not all of them are engineers, but engineers are playing an increasing role in the elites. Uh, more and more of our elite class is belonging to engineers. I did a video on that on Robert Noyce. Check out that secret people I did on Robert Noyce. But the point is, guys, that the intellectual elite is trying to sanitize us. They're sanitizing our human nature. And I have personal experience with that. That is, uh, every time I've been hired at a job, I've been fired. In fact, I, I don't think I remember one job where I wasn't fired at. Every time I worked in a corporate world, I was fired, either because uh, I was too aggressive or... I said things that they considered uh, politically inappropriate. I always got fired. Or I remember one time I got fired. Uh, I used to be part of this uh, incubator at Twitter called Runway. And someone said something to me uh, that was very like disrespectful. And I didn't want to punch them in the face. So I just slammed the desk and left. And that was enough for me to let go because they, they weren't used to that aggression. So my suspicion is... Um, Society right now is sanitizing human nature. They don't want to, They don't want us to curse. They don't want men to show any sort of aggression. Uh, it's almost as if they want women to be men and men to be women. And they have all sorts of political ideology uh, going with that. And, and I see it. I see the sanitizing going on in the human species. You don't have to believe it. This is just something I'm observing growing up in Haiti where men have to be men, unfortunately. And women have to be women. I see what's going on in the West. How humans are being sanitized. You have to be a nice little lamb. And if you're not a nice little lamb, they cut you off. They either cut off your money, they cut off your bank account, or they fire you straight up. 
So I've been fired at every job I've ever gotten because I was never politically correct. Now, in my opinion, I think ICP is the one glimmer of hope against that, against that trend. That is, in ICP, because all the web services that are hosted on there have to be open source, they have to be controlled by the community through tokens. This is the only chance where a pleb like myself, someone who was born in the mud, someone who was born with rough people, who's not sanitized, have a chance of saying, hey, leave my humanity alone. I, I, I'm fine being imperfect. Leave my humanity alone. I'm completely fine being all fucked up. And I like this idea of giving power to the people. I like this idea of giving power to the people to tokenization, where people have a say and where the source code goes, because that's what DAPS is all about. It's about giving the control of the source code to us, the plebs. And there's not a protocol that takes that more seriously, in my opinion, than internet computer. It's the only blockchain I know where if you put a DAP on internet computer, it automatically gives you an interface where your users can go and vote on you know, the proposals on your app, right? So if I put Cityscape on internet computer, a user could go to the SNS dashboard on an internet computer and see what voting proposals are happening on Cityscape right now. Just like right now, I could go on the dashboard and go look at what voting proposals on OpenChat, which is a popular platform on internet computer. So this is the only chance where any app that's on an internet computer, the pleb, like myself, could get a token and go vote and see what's going on with the source code and control the evolution of the application. And this is why I sold all my ADA and is going all in on internet computer. I feel like they are the only protocol that takes the decentralization aspect seriously, that takes the individual sovereignty aspect seriously, that takes the data privacy aspect seriously. And this is why I'm going all in because it means a lot to me. I've been fired at every job at work I worked at, which is why right now I'm just an entrepreneur. And I believe in this. And I not only want to invest in internet computer, I want to make the network become successful with my own effort. No free ride here. This is survival of the fittest. This is America. This is competition, capitalism. You contribute in the community. You don't just sit back and hope for a fucking free ride. This isn't communism. You're supposed to be a contributing member of the community. Again, you're supposed to be a contributing member of the community. I feel like this country is losing its values. What made Silicon Valley great was the community of Silicon Valley, where engineers would always share information and help each other. And I feel like that's dying in replacement of this elitism and this communism and this political correctness. And this is why I believe in Internet Computer, because it has libertarian values. So I'm going all in. And thank you, my viewers, for checking me. If I believe in ICP so much, why do I have Cardano? So it's liquidated. It's gone. I'm going all in. I have 66666 now. But don't worry. I'll get to 10,000 later. Wish me good luck. In any case, my misfits, that's all I have for you in this episode. Be sure to press that like button and support me on Patreon. I will see you next time.